feel like a fish and spikes down its back and it was called the unicorn fishy does. The unicorn fishy does. And one day when it was just small, you know, not expecting anything, um, it came to a fallen apart ship and it found the hole that made all that wreckage from a storm recently. And it was old enough that some algae was growing on it and algae was one of the things it liked to eat. So it crawled inside the boat. And, but just at that moment, people, I mean, scuba divers were going to go down and rescue anything that was inside the boat. So came down. And at first they saw only a shell because of, um, I mean, only um, a little curled up thing. So they said, and they thought it was not real. So they took that, and then they realized it was real. So they got, so they called for a big barrel full of sea water, and they put it in, and unfortunately, it was the barrel was put in the chalk and dropped to an aquarium. Mm. And there are rocks and starfish and fish and all kinds of stuff. But he was the only kind in that tank. Of a unicorn fish he does? Yes. And luckily he had a plan. So every day the zookeeper left keys on the top of the tank. Hmm. He had a plan. So, one day, he planned that in the night time, when the zookeeper put his keys there to op like, open and shut the door, mm -hmm. um, he were so sharp that they could open up the fish lid, mm. the aquarium lid, and so he did that, and he stole the keys, Oh. and he could actually hold things with his slipper, so he held it in his slipper and hid it be behind a chair. What a silly. Um, then he could jump really far, so he jumped all the way across the room towards the door, and then he pointed his spike right up against the door, and it popped open. Huh. And then he jumped all the way across the bay into the river. Wow. And that was the last time that he was ever in a quarry.